This is NWA9 for one, and today I'm going to do the review of an Alaska Airlines Gemini Jets Boeing 737-900. And uh, I want to say Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays to everybody that watches. Um, even if you're not a regular watcher, it's never too late. And uh, Happy Holidays to everybody. And let's get to it. So um, this is a Gemini model. This is actually an older release. I want to say 2009. Um, it'll say right here on the back. And this is actually a 2009 model, like I thought. On the back, you can see the in-flight aircraft, what it looks like. Then you have the uh, Alaska model on the front. It says Alaska Airlines. You know the then you'll have the typical Gemini writing right here on the box. It tells you a little bit about it. And uh, the model itself is is a great. I'm a huge fan of the 737. This is probably my favorite. 737 out of all of them including the classics I mean one 200s 300s 400s those beats them by far beats next generation 700s 800s the 900 is my favorite 737 um, this is just a good looking model in real life the model looks good I mean it's it's just a great aircraft um, I saw a couple in uh, Portland, Oregon, also in Seattle when I was there on the west coast. And it's, it's, it's just it's the longest of the, all the 737s as you can see. Just a little little longer than the uh, 800. There is another version of this out, the um, 900ER, which has an extra door right here behind the wing. And it uh, holds about 189 high density, which means like no business class, no first class, just all seats, all regular economy seats. So uh, it's a beautiful model. You can see the uh, Eskimo on the tail. And funny story is, I never for the longest figured out when, when when I was little. I used to think it was like a guy with an afro on the tail, but it's actually an Eskimo with a parka, and uh, that's his hood, and he's on the tail. Registration is uh N three one five A S. You see the winglets. And uh, I got this model because Alaska is close with the Sky Team and uh, Delta. They have a real strong coach there alliance with Delta and uh, American. And I believe those are actually the only two major airlines that they do code sharing with. Um, and it's just a wonderful, wonderful. I flew Horizon on a cold share, which is part of Alaska, Horizon Alaska. And now most of the planes are being painted to say Alaska. And match the fleet, but I uh, flew them with a Delta code share ticket, Oregon to um, San Francisco. You could check out the vid, and it was it was a great great ride. Um, probably the best I ever had on a turboprop regional jet. I flew the Q400, and it was just a great time, great service. It's a great airline, and Alaska has probably been the most consistent out of all the airlines. Um, not too much financial problems, and just a steady airline mostly serving the west coast and a few cities here on the east coast and I know they serve uh, Chicago and Orlando um, Orlando MCO but I'm um, not not too much other places but east coast Hawaii and Alaska so if you can see the uh, cargo holds right there and then the aft cargo hold right there the uh, engines, also CFM 56s, like I said about the uh, Airbus A330, I showed you in the other video. U.S. flag on the close to the tail. Another cool thing about this model is it has a tail scrape. If you can see that that bump right there, that is a tail scrape. So if the plane goes back, it has something to go back on, and that's very similar to the real life model of the 737. 800 and uh, 900 series aircraft. So, not too much to show you. It's a typical Gemini Jets. You can see it still has the uh, eyebrow windows. This aircraft was actually made in 2009, so I mean 2002 actually. So it's a few years old actually. It's it's been out a while. And uh, I got this on sale from Wolf Collectibles. I think it was like 14 bucks. I'm not quite sure, but great sales. Um, everything is good at Waffle Collectibles. They always have the latest models. Phoenix, pretty much all the brands. So, 
it worked out for me. And um, hope you guys enjoyed. NWA now for one sec. Comment, rate, subscribe. Any questions, comments, just inbox me. You can write them on the video too, but I see everything that's in my inbox. Sometimes I don't see comments on the pages or comments on the video. So it's it's sometimes just easier, I think, to inbox me, guys. So you'll see this set up in my new airport review and uh, update. And hope you guys enjoyed it. So like I said, NWA941. Thanks for watching. Comment, rate, subscribe, and uh, you guys take care.